Now we can record. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Okay. We're up to Gimel Gimel Amid Beis. We're going through a bunch of memories from the Amoyer of Yeshua Ben Levi. We're up to the first wide line on Gimel Amid Beis. Very nice, beautiful Gemara. Von Rabbi Yeshua Ben Levi. Now we all know that this a special halacha of a city, a walled city that was walled from the days Yeshua Ben Nun. We had a limit for it, praze, praze, right? And Rabbi Yeshua Ben Karcha said from, uh, from Shushan, but we know that they lay on the 15th, correct? What about a city that was, the question is, did the, was the wall there first or was the inhabitants there first? Was the wall there first or the inhabitants there first? So Von Rabbi Yeshua Ben Levi, krach, a city, sheyoshav, that was inhabited first, well, the soy kukaf, and in the end, it was what it was. It was surrounded by a wall. Nidon kikfar will treat it on as a fourteen. We will not treat it as a as a crack. We won't treat it as a kukaf. We'll treat it as a fourteen. Now, this pasuk that you, that this gemara that is being quoted now, you have to know halacha that we've shared with you before. Redeeming certain lands in Eretz Yisrael regarding the cities. If it's a city that was a walled city, bimei Yeshua binun. It's called a bate oire chayma. And if you go ahead and sell it, you have a year to redeem it. If you do not redeem it within a year, you lose the city. If you don't, you lose, you know, if you don't, if you don't, you don't you sell it, you would lose it. You know, you, it's, there's no redeeming it. Now, this halacha that is stated now, according to Rashi, is only regarding bate oire chayma, not regarding Megillah. Tosis disagrees and says it's discussing the cities vis-a-vis -vis Megillah. So the question is, if it was first inhabited and then it was what, surrounded by a wall, it'll be treated like an open city, not like a walled city. Rashi says, the unique halacha of Bati Arachayma, Tosis says, Linya Megillah. My timer, what's the reason? The chsiv. Again, this is written by Bati Arachayma. The ish ki yimcher beis moishav irchoma. If a person sells his house in a moishav irchoma, I kept on saying the city, not the city, a house in a city. Obviously, not selling the city, but you have a house within a walled city, you have a year to go ahead and redeem it. So it says, What does it mean? Yamacha based Moishev Irchaima. What does Moishev Irchaima mean? Shell Hukif. First, there was what? A Chaima, a wall. Well, the Besoif Yoshav, and in the end, it was inhabited. The Loisha Yoshav, the Besoif Hukif, but not that it was inhabited, and then it was what? It was surrounded by a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's not, it's not, it's not like a field. It's not like a field that. That goes down in price. Whatever you you, you sold it right. From Rabbi Shuban Levi, another alacha. Krach shein byasar batlanim. Now this batlanim is not um, uh, correct. Uh, you took the words out of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> T tough crowd. Anyway, so anyway, so batlanim mean people who are available in shuls. In other words, there were people that are available in shuls. You go to a shul, they're always in shul. A city that does not have asar batlanim is nido in kikfar. It's treated like a 14. It's not treated like what? A 15. In other words, in order to be, you need another dimension to be a fifth, a city of a 15. You need 10 batlanim. You need 10 batlanim in shul. Look at Rashi quickly. Asar batlanim, she tail in malachton. They're bottle from their malacha. Shayu mitsuyim tomil beis akneses. They're there all the time. Shakus v'yarvis. He's upset. So you know it's the ten batlonim. Says the Gemara, my kamash one. Why does Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi the Amoira? Now again, an Amoira will not tell us something that you can know from a Tainoic source. If you can know it from a Mishnah, a Brayso, a Tosefta, then he's not telling me something I don't know. Fred the Gemara, Tonina, we learned it already. Eze ir he ir gedayla. What's considered a large city is called Shiesh by Asara batlonim. Any city that's what. Has ten batlanim. So what's he telling me? Pachas mikan. I was a kfar. Less than that, it's considered what a kfar. It's considered a, a bundak. So in other words, when it says over here that ten batlanim, it's not speaking like I just said. Linyan hukaf. It's speaking that it needs to be a fourteen city rather than a city. In other words, they would not be able to lay on eleven and twelve, thirteen. They would not be able to lay on eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right. But asar batlanim is the halacha vis a vis fourteen. If you have asar batlanim. Then you're a large city. If you don't have a Sarah Batlonim, then you're a small city and you can lane 11, 12, and 13. Krachit says, the market is Krachit. The Chiddush is a Krach. A Krach seemed to be a city that people would come and go, a marketplace. Afagav de Miklele Ma'alma. So, in other words, they usually don't have 10. But in any, in other words, you don't have 10 set guys. <laughs> but on any given day, you can find 10 there simply because of the traffic that goes through the city. So we're saying that the din of that Yeshua and Levi is mechadesh, that those ten batlonim have to be 
in Yiddish, shtendik batlonim. They have to be batlonim who are always there rather than batlonim who, who would come from time to time. For Omer, Bishuv and Levi, another Allah, Bishuv and Levi regarding what? But the world cities, krach shecharav, a krach that was what? It was destroyed. Ula besoif yashav, and the end it was the Havamina rebuilt. Nidan ki krach, it still be considered a krach. It still be considered about a 15. Says Gemara, my my char, what was destroyed? If you're going to tell me that its walls were destroyed, yashiv in, and therefore if they're rebuilt, yes, lo yashiv loy, if they rebuild not. In other words, in order for to be a din of a walled city, means you would have to have standing a wall physically all the time, but it's not true. For Tanya, that is a wall. There's a wall to it. Now, this again is another, this is a passage by guys like Bati Ari Chaima. That there was to it a wall, meaning if the city had a wall, be made sure, be known, even if the walls are destroyed, you would only have a year to go ahead and redeem your house from that city. It would have a din of Bati Ari Chaima. So you see, you don't have the city there. Guys, Yerushalayim is the only city we know that has this wall from when? Yeshua be Nun. Now you're going to tell me Yerushalayim has a wall. That wall was put up by some some Arab. That that was well, that wasn't put up by by Yeshua. Suleiman, right? Uh, Suleiman the Great put up the wall, right? So again, clearly it didn't have a wall. So again, it doesn't mean. So therefore, Fred the Gemara, what did Yeshua mean? What did he mean that that Chorav that that when he, Rabbi Shuban Levi said that Krach that's a din of a Krach. What's his Chiddush? Elamai Chorav, but in Chorav may have about Lanim. It was chara from ten batlonim. So in other words, it, if it's chara from ten batlonim, and and then <clears throat> and then they came back, it does it did, doesn't lose its shame. It doesn't lose shame of what of a large city. So it's interesting, an interesting concept. But I'm Rishub and Levi. I'm an Aleph again. Rishub and Levi. Lud, Ono, Vigeya Charashim. These three cities, Lloyd, Ono, and Gera Charashim, Mukafes Chayma Mi Mos Yeshua Binon Have. These were cities, guys, in the Chalik of Binyamin, and they all have a lach of Bati Arichem. We, of course, do not have these cities anymore, but had we been alive when these cities existed, then they would have a din of a 15. Now, Fred, the Gemara question. Vahani, right? Vahani Yeshua Banani? You tell me Yeshua built the cities of Lloyd, Ainoi, Vigei, Harashim? You say he built those cities? Vaha El Pa'el Banahi, El Paho built them. In Dibri Yaman, where it's recounting this, the Mishpachis, when it gets to the Mishpacha of Binyamin, it says the following. It says, Ubinei El Pa'el, who were the sons of El Pa'el? Ever, Misham, Bishomer. And now we get a little more information. Hu bona es Oinoi, ve es Lud. He built Boinoi and Lud, Ubin Asaha, and the areas around it. So, Fred de Gemara Kasha, how could you tell me Yeshua built it? You see El Pa'el, who was way after Yeshua built it. So how can you say this is a halacha of what of but they are of of hook of me should be should be known regarding but they are and regarding Megillah, correct? In other words, they were built by B'nai Binyamin, who went ahead and with generations after Yeshua be known. So and therefore they should not have the din of what of but they are nor the halacha of Megillah. It's very the Gemara time according to your reasoning. Are you telling me that El Paul brought them? Asa bin Nahu. Asa was one of the Melech of Yehuda. Asa built these cities. Now, how do you know he built the cities? The Siv is Vayiven. Now you have to look at the side. It says, or you have a number. Look at the number. It says Vayiven Are Mitsura Bi Yehuda, and he built the fortified cities of Yehuda. Now, it's a, these are speaking about Binyamin, and you tell me you're speaking about the cities of Yehuda. So Rashi goes through a Cheshbon, fellas. We know that the Ten Shvatim they went up north, and they were they were under the rule of Yeravam. The only Shvatan that were the part of Malchi Yisro, uh, Yehuda were Binyamin and Yehuda. So if these were not, so the assumption being, if Asa built the cities in Yehuda, he would build in the Shechinim in the area of Binyamin as well, because they were together. So now we have Akasha. One hand, you tell me Yeshua built them. Second hand, you tell me El Palo built them. And now you tell me Asa built them. What's going on over here? We don't know what's going on. So in other words, the Gemara has a way of asking, oh, you ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. You know, I always say that that joke, you ask you a question, you'll throw back a question. It's really a Gemara. Well, the time Okay, according to the same, this is the same thing we just had. Well, the time and according to your way, you ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. You ask me that you should be known, and I'll Paolo did it. No, I'll ask you, Paolo did it, and also did it. 
So for anything else, what do you have to say? So I'm Rabbi Yehuda. Hani Mukaf is Chaimim Mes Yeshua Binon. These cities, Oyna Eloid and Engei Charashim, these were all cities that were what built by Yeshua Binon, like our original premise, and therefore the halachas of Bati Ari Chaima and learning the Megillah on Tesvav apply. However, Charev Binei Pelegish Begiva, they were destroyed during the the incident of Pelegish Begiva. We spoke that out the other day, fellas. The civil war that broke out. Between Klai Yisrael and Shevet Binyamin, that Shevet Binyamin was decimated till the only six hundred men left. We spoke at the end of Tainus, and they got four hundred from what from the Yavish Gilad, who hadn't been there at the at, at the meeting in Mitzvah where they swore not to give their daughters to Binyamin, and two hundred they got from the dancing girls. Good, so that's what happened. So these cities were destroyed. You know who built them? El Powell built them, and what happened? They broke again, and who built them? Asa built them. So they're all correct. They were, these cities do have a lacha for Bati Arichaima, and they do have a halacha uh, for, for uh, meeting on the 15th. And, and in fact, Yeshua did, did build them, but an incident happened that, that caused their destruction. What happened? El Palal bin came along what? El Palal, he rebuilt them, and Hod in, in fall, they fell again. Asi Asa came along, Aspa, and Shaft Sinu, he restored them, the, the cities. They can, Ami, guys, listen to the inference that shows you that they were existing cities, the Chsiv, it says by Yoimer, guys, Asa is speaking, Asa is speaking, and what does he say? By Yoimer the Yehuda, Asa says to Yehuda, Nivna es ha build what? These, what does that mean? Build these cities, meaning they were existing cities. You weren't building a city, build cities, meaning they built a city that was there from before. Ha'ela, but build nivnes harum ha'ela mechlau we can infer the orum havi meikara that there were cities from before shmamina that this whole serve in fact that these cities were built by we may assure be known the cities of Lloyd, oino and gay acharasha shmamina you have a good raya okay the next next the reshuv and levi's statement regarding the building this next statement guys is a bomb it's just I can't tell you. How much Torah is on this next statement? It's, it's, it, it, we'll do a little bit of it. We'll do a little bit of it, but, but it's, it's amazing. Where are we, Shubin Levi? Nashim chayabais ben mikra megillah. Nashim women are mechuyim mikra megillah. Sha'af heim hayabais ha'net. Okay, this, they're, they're part of the nest. That's all it says. Now, what's the Kiddush over here? What's the Kiddush? We all know, guys, that women are part of from any mitzvah sasei shaz man groma. Any mitzvah I say that's contingent upon time, woman will be pata from. Woman are pata from Shaifa, woman are pata from Lula, woman are pata from, from Tfilin, <laughs> woman are any mitzvah I say, just my brother, but woman are pata from Tzitzis, any mitzvah I say, woman's pata from. Yet for Mikra Megillah, they're, they're chayev, right? So what, that, why they're chayev? So the Gemara gives a reason. Sha'afim hoya boysa nes. They were also part, part, part of boysa nes. Now, we, we were introduced to this by matzah. A woman is mechuyiv ti matzah. So if I asked you until you came to my share, well, that's the reason women are mechuyiv ti matzah. You say afim niglu, they were also revealed, they were also redeemed. But since every one of you have come to my share, if you never missed one night, so you all know what I told you, and I will test you on it. I'll, I'll let you know <laughs> that that the reason why the, the, the women are mechuyiv in matzah is because they're mechuyiv not to eat chametz. In the same pasuk where it says not to eat chametz, it says to go out and and you keep in matzah. So, Fred Gamora Kasha, Fred Toysus Akasha, Fred Toysus. Why do you need the reason that what? That woman of Machayev? Because why? Because of the juxtaposition of matzah to chametz and woman of Machayev in every loisat say. Say, woman, you know, just like we're saying over here, Machayev and Megillah, because they were part of the nest. So to Mitzrayim, they Machayev and matzah, because they went out of Mitzrayim. And for Toysus, that would only be Machayev and Rabbanon. That would only mean mechayiv mi midrabbanon. In other words, afim hoy oisa banes would make midrabbanon you be chayiv, but it would be mechayiv midaraisa. The hekish, the comparison between being mechayiv in chametz and therefore the same pasuk that says matzah makes a woman mechayiv daraisa the same way as we are. That that's what we spoke at then. Taisus speaks that over here also. But let's see Taisus over here for a second. Taisus yes the kasha yes. But Isn't that only a type no, of the no, no, of course, no. Anything. In the Rabbanus. Now, Nashim Chayavis Mikro Megillah, Mikan Mashma, 
Shehanoshim Moitzias Es Achayim Midei Chabasim. Guys, we're learning Taisvis. I've told you this many times. You have to know the Dibra Maskel. Taisvis is always going to shelzich on the Dibra Maskel. Noshim Chayavis, guys, the keyword there being the Mikra Megillah. Woman Achayiv to read the Megillah. Frag Taisvis, therefore, if you're telling me the Chayiv to read the Megillah, and we're Chayiv to read the Megillah, Mashma Shehanoshim Moitzias Es Achayim Midei Chabasim. Mashma that Noshim could go ahead and be Moitzias others Midei Chabasim. Why? It doesn't say Lishmoya Mikro Mikil. Okay, so the Tosfos has a, a Mahalach. I'll share with you the Mahalach of the Turi Evan. To answer this Kasha, why can't a woman lane for a man? Why can't a woman lane for a man and be might see a bear? So, so guys, look, look at me. Look at me. Look at this. this. We know there are different levels in mitzvahs. Do we mention the mitzvah der Isa? Mitzvah der Isa. Go ahead, Vad and. And eat. You eat matzahs, mitzvahs, the Isa. We know the mitzvahs, the Rabbonon. Hanukkah will be a mitzvah, the Rabbonon. To light candles, Hanukkah candles, the mitzvah, the Rabbonon. There's a mitzvah that's a minig. We said a minig, for example, the Aravos, that you shuckle in shuls, an ancient, ancient minig. It's a front. And then there's one that's called Divrei Kabbalah. Divrei oh. Kabbalah. Now you might recall, because that was the, the Rashi we brought in, Raya, that Rashi was not the Right. The Rashi was not the Ra, Rashi was not the on Tainus was not Rashi because Rashi never saw Tysus and Rashi all of a sudden was after Tainus and Dav Tesvav is saying the Hiksha Tysus <laughs> so he brought a Raya from there that the Rashi was a Talmud of Rashi that Rashi is Diva Masel is Uve Kabbalah Rashi says Shehanovi Mitzavel Yisrael Kabbalah means that Moshe Kibel Torah Misinai so there's a Kabbalah there's a Masaira. Divrei Kabbalah, guys, is a higher level than the Rabbanon. It's not as high a level as the Raisa. It's somewhere in between. So very geschmack. We just said, women are mechaev, sh'av him hoye boise hanes. Yeah? What would they be mechaev that? Would they be mechaev the Raisa, Kabbalah, or the Rabbanon? The Rabbanon. Only the Rabbanon. Just like by Mitzrayim, af him hoye boise hanes, so to hear the Rabbanon. Archia tri Megillah, guys, is al yedei neviyim. Mordechai and Esther and the Achei Knesset Agadayla, they were in the Vim. Archi is, is the Vekabola. And for the Turi Evan places Kasha. Since Archi comes as a result of being Mechiv to listen to the Vim, it's a different Chiv than a woman's Chiv, this Afim Hoyeboy Sanes. So their Chiv, Afim Hoyeboy Sanes, they could not be Moitzias. Their Chiv is a different one. Their Chiv is only with the in nature. A Rabbon in nature can't go ahead and be Moitzias, the upper level of Divrei Kabola. That's the way the Turi Evan answers this Kasha. Excuse me? Anisha Pashas could be Moisa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, 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 really, it really depends. Toysis is Mashim, you could. The other Rishonim would disagree. There's a very famous, again, I'll give you a Marmokam if you ever want to look, look at it. Not, not that you will, but maybe you will. Um, there's a, a Sefer called the Marcheshes. The Marcheshes was the oldest dying on the Vilna Besden. He has a beautiful shtickle. I'll speak it out for him time. In Chalik Aleph. Simon Chof base. He said, well, it's, it's pretty easy to go through. I've gone through it privately with you guys and when we had the Saturday night share. And it was a very, very famous thing. Well, the only in, 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 in one part, not another part. Okay, but... This is worse because they were, they were there was on the top, Okay. It says, it says, right? What does Af mean? Also. Oh, so it means what? But by the time it wasn't, they weren't, they, 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 the power was in Lebanon. Again, no, no, they were, they were, they were, they weren't part of the Shibu, they weren't part of the They were in Mitzrayim, they were, they, they were in Mitzrayim, but they weren't part of the Shibu. So, so, so what, what, is, what does that mean there? Pesach, it says the same lotion. I can explain the lotion. It says the exact same lotion. Can I say the number eight? Number eight? You are saying the Swara, so what are you doing? You're going like this. You say, this says Afin Rosemines, this says Afin Rosemines, but my way of thinking, I don't understand it. You say, it's exact same words. It's exact same words. Okay, so what's the difference? 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 Okay, so well, actually, Tosis does agree with you, but but again, we'll see it. Okay, anyway, let's go weiter. So the Gemara weiter. 
Kami Shurim and Levi, Purim Shechali Es B'Shabbos. Now, guys, the only way Purim can fall out on Shabbos is Shushan Purim. Shushan Purim. Bisman Azeh, Shushan Purim. It could be on the 15th. Our calendar set, the 14th day of Adar can never fall out on the Shabbos. Next year. Oh, when do you get a part that's known as Purim Mishulish, meaning, uh, you know, a reason to get drunk for an extended yeah. period of time, well. is when, when Friday, when Yudala falls out on Friday. So Yudala falls out on Friday, Shabbos is Tesvav, it's the Hamitzvah, and you're, laying, and, and you're celebrating on the next day, on uh, Sunday. That's your Purim Mishulish. That's your Purim Mishulish. So now, Purim Shechal Yes B'Shabbos, Shoylim B'Darshin B'Nyan Yishal Yoyim. You can go ahead and ask B'Darshin. Rashi says, fellas, you read the Igeres in Shul. He says, Rashi says that in Shul, on, on, on Purim, what would you do? Look at the very interesting Lush in Rashi. Rashi says, Shoylim B'Darshin, you would put a a a, a maturgimin guys is the the translator literally he was the mouthpiece you know the rosh hashiv would whisper to him and he would extend it he would speak out loud to darshan the letter of purim barabim very interesting lashons again let's see let's see the gemara my area Purim, my feel Yontif Nami. What, what's the what's Rabbi Shuvan me telling me a Chiddush? That what? That we're darshning on the Yontif for the Yontif? Any Yontif's that way. The Tanya, Moshe and Tikkun Lem Yisrael. Moshe went ahead and made the following Takon of the Yisrael. She you shoylim v'darshin v'nyoni shal yoyim. That you go ahead and shoylim v'darshin. And every Yontif. Hilchas Pesach v'Pesach. Hilchas Atzeres Atzeres. On Shvuas Shvuas. Hilchas Chag v'Chag. The halachas of Sukkah on Sukkah. Right? So, so, so Lechayru, what is Rabbi Shuvan Levi telling me that what that I'm Purim? You dash in the Lachas of Purim. That seems to be obvious. Says no, Chag Purim is Tzrichle. You need Chag Purim. Ma'od the Tema Nigzar Mishum de Raba. I may think you make a Mizrach Shem Raba. Guys, Raba is the one who said, "What's the reason we don't, we don't lay Megill on Shabbos?" Is because you may come to carry it to learn by a Bucky. So who are din by the Drasha that you may come to what? So I want to learn Shat. Why would Rashi say Igeris? What's the Igeris? It's Megillah. So, uh, so you might think that what? That since you have to bring the Agaris, the Darshan, maybe you can't do it on Shabbos either. Kamash Malon, since you're not going to read it for the Kriya, you don't have to go through a book to how to read it. It's just the Darshan and the Agaris. Therefore, you could. So I think maybe it might be a very nice Diak, right? In Rashi, using the Lashon of, of Agaris. But if you're supposed to do Shabbos chants, they're talking about the times of the bias when they were in the Kaddish Kodashim, the form could come out. Yeah. As opposed to Shushan Purim, you're saying... The Bismana is there. Bismana is there. Bismana is the only Shushan Purim. But, but, but the Gemara is talking about a case... The Shub and Levi li lived after the, after the Churban. <laughs> Shub and Levi is an Achron. In other words, Benji's asking, <laughs> Chira, it could have fell out, Yudala could have fell out in Shabbos at the at, at time. But I'm saying that, it can't be. The Shub and Levi who made this statement was an Amoira. He lived well after the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. So therefore, and, and they at that point in time in Shub and Levi's life, they were living like we are through the calendar that 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 Hillel had been metakin. So therefore, I'm, I'm throwing out that it has to be that when it's 15th here, it has to be when he says that Chal Shabbos, it has to be Shushan Purim. Yeah, fascinating Gemara. One after the other, one bomb after the other. I'm telling you, it's Gishmak. Rami Shuman Levi, Chayiv on the liquor says on Megillah Belayla. A person's Chayiv to read the Megillah at night. Ulishnoisa Bayoim. Now, guys, the Lashon Lishnoisa means is to learn. Mishna it means to learn. The Shoyrish is to repeat is to learn. So the Gemara's Havamin is the following, that you lane the Megillah at night, and the next day you learn the Halachas of Megillah, you learn the Mishnayis or the end of the Gemara. Shinemar, it says, Elokai ekra yoima, Hashem, I'll call out to you at night, the night, Vleisana, I'm not answered, Vleila, Vleid Nemiyali, at night, and there's no what, there's no rest for me. Now, Savamina, the ones who heard this, when Yeshua ben Levi said it, he said that you should go ahead and Lishnoisa Bayoim, he said, that Biyoma, Masnisan di day Biyoma, the Makri Belayla, you read it at night. Ule Misne Masnisan di da be your mama. And you learn the appropriate Mishnayas in Gemara the next day. Because that's what the Lushan guys, Ule Shnoisa, appears to be saying. The word Ule Shnoisa means to repeat it and le learning it. So Amal Hu Rav Yemi Ladimi Farshali Mene Dim Rav Chimi of Abba. This is what it really means. Kigoin, the Amri Inshi, like people say, ever Parsha da. I'll go over this Parsha, this Naya. And I'll repeat it. In other words, it doesn't mean to go ahead and darshan. The shnoisei means I'll repeat the repetition of the Megillah again. It manami omrav chelboy omrav ula bira chayivod and liquid says the Megillah belayla 
ulishnoisa biyoim, shenemar, laman yisamrecha kovoid, you know that I should go ahead and sing your covet during the day, vlayidam Hashem, right? Elakailo ilam oideka, Hashem I'll always sing. Now, if you read this Gemara, apparently it seems the main chiv is at night. You have a chiv to later at night and read it the next day. That's not the case. Look at Tysus. Bottom Tysus, guys, bottom Tysus. Chayabadam Likre says, I'm a gil of a laila, ulishnoisa biyoim. Oimari says the Riyaz Akin, the Afal Gav, even though the Mekvarech is man Balayla, even though we go ahead and we say, uh, uh, Sandberg, get up. Afal Gav, the Mekvarech is man Balayla, even though we say Shechi Yanu at night. Chayza u Mekvarech Oisa Bayoim. Guys, we say Shechi Yanu the next day as well. You say Shechi Yanu both days. Why? Why? The Iker Prasume Nisa Havi Bekriya. To your mama, the Ikra Pesumenisa is the daytime, not the nighttime. We were pumped up as kids. It's warm as night, right? And then you know, whatever they did the night, that night, then the next day was troublesome. But the Kara Nami Mashma came. The Chsiv Vilayla Veloy Domiyali Vilayla Kloima Afa Gav Shekoy Rebiyoyim. Even though what I leaned it during the day, Chayiv the Likras Vilayla. You Chayiv to go ahead and lean it at night. The Ikra have to be your mama. And the main, main part of it is by day. So again, the, be aware, the main Kriya is by day, not by night. The main, even at night. It's a very important places. Guys, you have your own Gemaras. You just make a mark. These, the Tysus and I do, I got, you know, the ones, these are important. I think for Pshat, <laughs> very important Tysus. There was one over here I didn't do. I, I, I told the, the Yankel to do it. Well, let's see. It says Vaita. Elishak, Kforim, Akdimali, Yamakni. So we said the Kforim, we said the Boondocks, they would go to what? To the, now, Guys, why would the why would they go to the Yamaknisa? Because they needed to come. They had they would go ahead right and have. They, there were court cases. There were court cases coming in. Why couldn't they lane by themselves? Because they weren't bikim and laning. They weren't experts in laning. So Yankel Zuka asked me to go out to Kasha. Yankel said, "Who's going to lane when they come? You're you're a Yudalid guy. You're a Tesvav guy. They show up when on 11, 12, or thirteen. Who's going to lane for them?" A guy who's chiv on 14 and 15, yeah? How can a person who's chiv on 14 and 15, when he's not mechuyiv on 11, 12, he might see these guys. He has no chiv to lane 11, 12. He's, he's jumping the gun. He, he's offside, right? He's jumping. He, he, he doesn't, I'm telling you, he, he, he has no chiv. It's a gavad kasha. So Yankel is the kasha. And a good Rebbe, I got a terrace for him. Oh, Guys, so, so only when you're mechuyiv in the mitzvah, not mechuyiv in the mitzvah. They're not mechuyiv in the mitzvah. You're, you're, out, you're not mechuyiv in your aleph. Can you lay in the Megillah now? No. Why can't someone else make the bracha? What? The bracha, it doesn't make... <laughs> you have to be mighty, right? Okay, so guys, I found the Toysus Rebbe Kivega. Guys, I found the Toysus Rebbe Kivega. On the Shnayis, Yochan and Boaz, there's a Toysus of Rebbe Akiva Ega. He makes a beautiful deer. Go back, guys, to Daf Beis, opening, opening night. Go back to Daf Beis. I'll show you. He makes an inference from a Rashi, one line that makes such a difference in Rashi. Beautiful, beautiful deer. So on the Rashi, the, the, the second Rashi, the third, three lines down. Let's start three lines down. El Shekvarim Akdim Eliyam Akneesa, Klaimah. The surrounded cities laid on 15. And there are open cities laid on 14. How do you find 11, 12, and 13? The Chachamim gave them permission to lane earlier. The, the, day, the Monday before Yedalid, or the, or the Thursday before Yedalid. Shuyam Knisa, Shakfarim is constantly Yoris, Lamishba, they would come to the cities to be judged. The Fisha Bate Dinim Yoshim by Yoris. They would, they would, what they did would be in the cities. Vishen Mechemishi on Mondays and Thursdays, Kitakona Sezra. For Hakfarim, Aina Bekiem, guys, here's the key. For Hakfarim, the Boondocks, Aina Bekiem Likrois, they weren't experts to read. Fitzrichim Shikra Enolahem, Echad Mibnea Ear. And they needed that Shikra Enolahem. Echad bibneo ear. What's the echad? No, what's the echad? What's the echad? Why does Rashi say echad? They just need, they needed bneo ear. Any, in other words, they could come and a bunch of people can lane for them, right? Why did Rashi stress echad? Says Taisus Rebbe Kivega, one person would lane for them and they would read after him. One, no, it's, he's not being mighty them. 
one person, he would lead them in the, that's what Rashi is saying, Echad. One person would lead them in the rendition of the Megillah. He would read, and they would read, he'd be the Chazan, and they would repeat after him. So he's answering the question. Enochinami, the guy who's high on 14 and 15, he can't lay on 11. T- he has no Chiyav to lay there. What can he do? Since he's an expert in reading, he can lay in the Megillah, pause, have them who are Mechoyev, lay after him. And that's the Diak of Rabbi Kiva, the Lashon of Echad, only one person. Any more than one person would be what? The, 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 it would be just too much to get the, the, the voices together. So therefore, only one person. The beautiful Teretz from the Helig of Rabbi Kiva Ega. Okay, back by us in Dalit. Shkayach to you, Yankel. With three lines in the bottom. Am Rav Chanina, Chachamim Mekilu Al Kfarim Lios Makdim Liyam Aknisa Kidei She Yispiku Mai Mumazon Lachem Sheve Krochem. So here, here's that. Here's the half of me, guys. If they already lame, they're available to bring in the crops, the food. It seems the crops came in from the farms. These are the farmers. They would bring the food in. So. We have an interest in them get, be, 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 being yaitza because now it frees them up from the Kriyas Megillah to bring the food in. Good. Fred Gemara, the name of the Takhanta, the Krochem Ave. You mean to tell me that the Takhanta that they can lean early is to facilitate and help us? Mashma to facilitate and help us? One second. But Tanan, we learned, Chali Yois Bisheni, if when Purim falls out on, on Monday, Kforim Vayoris Gedoilis Kairim Boy Bayoim. The Kfarim, the Bundaks, and the big cities, they lay on Monday. Venisa, if you need them available, the Kadmul Yamaknisa. Guys, if they're there to go ahead and provide food for me, and I need them free to do that, how can we land at the same time? So they should land Thursday, right? If I need them free to bring food, so why do we land on the same time Monday? I, the Yom Knisa, Mondays and Thursdays, let them come to Thursdays. Uh, a Bate Dinim meeting, that'll free them up. Monday, they'll show up with food. Yes? Yes? And if they come on, you got, no, no, that's not true. Have you last Sarah? Guys, from, if Monday, you're going to go back from Monday, your Dalit, till Thursday, that's going to be 10. You can't lane. Can't lane 10. Only 11, 12. Oh. But I saw the Tikna Rabbana. Toshma, Chali Yais Bechamishi. If Purim falls out on a Thursday, Purim falls out on a Thursday, Kfarim by Yaros Gedoilis Kairim by Vayoin. So the Kfarim, the, the cities that are the boondocks and the large cities, they'll lay on Thursday. Now, nice. the Misa that they want to go ahead and provide for us, the Kadmul Yamaknisa, let them lay on Monday, the Echad Asahu, because that is only 11. And they'll be free to go ahead and bring food for us on the Thursday. Uh, Says No, once you're on a Yom Kanisa already, we're not going to go ahead and say, one second, you're here, go, go to another one. It's enough that we go ahead and we make a Yom Kanisa, but to, oh, you're here by Yom Kanisa Thursday, go back to the Yom Kanisa Monday, that we're not going to do. Toshma, on Rabbi Yehuda, a Masai, when did they get, the, when do we make a that they can lay earlier? The Mokom Shenichnasim Besheni Bechamishi. That's in a place where you'd only gather in on a Monday and a Thursday. In a place where you would not get, go ahead and nichnas on a Monday or a Thursday, then you only lay in what? Bismana. In other words, guys, let's say no Monday or Thursday, so no, the boondocks in the lane on your Dalit. They can lay on your Dalit. The Isak Adaita, the Kanta, the Krochim, he, Mishim, the Krochim, why should we lose? We need them free. So they should lay in on 11. They should lay in anything that will free them. Let's be Mako. Any, even if there's no Bate Dinim, let them lay. Says, and for the Gemara, you're right. Loy Tema, don't say like you thought. Don't say that what they should be. We want to free them up. But it's Takana. The Takana is that what is for them. Says Rashi, it's a schar. Perish, guys. It's not that we want to free them up, but since they do provide a service for us, we'll reward them by not making them come back, by letting them lean earlier. That's the sky. Look at Rashi, guys. Second line from the top. It's a schar. It's a reward for them. 
because they go ahead and they provide food for us. Since they provide food for us, we'll let them land in Hilkach, heichad, ain't Once they don't, they don't come in, look cool, he got by you. There's no reason. There's no reason to go ahead. They, if they come in, great, we'll reward them. But since they're not, they're not coming in anyway, there's no reason to reward them. So you thought initially we wanted to free them up. No. Since they provided food for us, we'll, we'll give them a schar. Where there is no reason to give them a schar, we won't. Okay, now, the Mishnah says a very interesting question, guys. Let's look back in the Mishnah. Let's look back in the Mishnah. The Gemara has a problem with the, the language of the Mishnah. The Mishnah starts. Megillah, Nikras, the Yudalif, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel, and Yudalit. Those are days of the week or days of the month? Days of the month. Days of the month. The, the 11th day of Adar, Yud Beis Adar, Yud Gimel Adar, Tesfavad, right? It was months. Now, now, when the Gemara begins to explain, Ketzad, Chali is Yudalit, Bisheni on Monday, and then it goes Monday, Tuesday, Shabbos. In other words, when you introduced it, you introduced it as days of the month. But when you explained it, you explained the days of the week. You said Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday versus why don't you say you're all if you base, you know, be consistent, have a, you know, the, the syntax of the Mishnah should be the same, right? If the beginning is what is, is speaking about days in a month, let the latter part be speaking about days in a month. Uh, so listen to this, Terrence. Very interesting, Terrence. Guys, if you would go and order the days of the month, you'd miss up the days. Well, right. For example, you, you'd say the following. If the 13th if the thirteenth is on Shabbos, right? Uh, no, a second. If if it falls out on on Friday, then the kfarim are going to go. The, the boondocks are going to go to Thursday, which is your gimel. If it falls out on Shabbos, they're going to go to your bays. And if it falls out on Sunday, you're going to go to your aleph. So you get your gimel, your bays, your aleph. If you go ahead and explain it according to the days of the month, uh, the days of the month, you can come up the days of the week in a corrupt order. You're going to have twelve. You can have 13, 12, 11. So to avoid, uh, avoid this lack of orderliness, we began not speaking about the, the, the latter part of the Mishnah, the days of the month. We began days of the week, because then you'll have it in, in order, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Okay, that's the Gemara inside. I just gave you the Gemara outside. Let's see it inside. It says the Gemara. Kate said, Chali yois, b'sheni, b'shabis, k'for mayos, g'doylis, k'ren b'abiyon. Maishna resha, What's the difference the ratio of the Mishnah? The Nokat Sidur the Yarcha. You began saying, Yid Aleph Adar, Yid Beis Adar, Yid Gimel Adar. Who Mishnah say for the Nokat Sidur the Yume? You began Sunday, you know, two, you began using the days of the week. And from where Adar the Mishavchile, since if you go according to the days of the month, you're going to end up out of order. You're going to end up, you're going to end up thirteen. Uh, you're going to end up twelve, uh, thirteen, twelve, eleven. It's going to be corrupt the order. You don't go ahead and speak in, in that order. Okay, that's the Chaldi Yisbe Erev Shabbos. Now, guys, if, if it falls down on Erev Shabbos, let's do our math. Guys, outside, we're dealing with three cities. We're dealing with the boondocks, we're dealing with the large cities, and we're dealing with the, with the walled cities. Good? So now, if your Dalit falls out on Friday, good? Your Dalit falls out on Friday. So let's go. The, the, when does the walled cities lane? They can lane on Shabbos. They can't, no, they can't lay on Sunday. Sunday says Zion. Sunday says Zion. They lay on Friday. They lay on Yudalit. This is an anomaly. This is an anomaly. The walled city is laying on 14, not 15. Good. When does a regular city lay? What does the mission say? Same day, 14. And the boondocks go back to Thursday. Goes back one day to the 13th. Good. That's what we have. Good. That's our given. Three cities, two on the 14th. The Kiddush being the walled city on the 14th. And the uh, boondocks going back to Yom Knisa, day 13. Okay, now, Masnisa and Moni, who's the Tana of Amishnah that has the walled cities leaning on the 14th? E Rebbe, E Rebbe I see. You have a choice. It can either be Rebbe or Rebbe I see. Now, the Gemara is going to introduce the Machlaikis. And Gemara is introduce the Machlaikis. And we're going to see in the Machlaikis that both Rebbe and Rebbe I see holds the walled cities are going to be on the 14th. Guys, good. Watch. Tell me why this guy, this Tana cannot be the guy. The Tanya, we learn our Brisa. Chali is per Shabbos. If Purim falls out on a Friday, Kfarim, the Boondocks, by Yeres and the large cities, Makdimili Yom Knisa. That's it, gone, guys. You just told me that the large cities are going to the thirteenth. Can't be the 
Tana of the Mishnah. This Tana says the large cities are going to the 13th. They're not going, not, not landing on Friday on the 14th. They're going to the 13th. This can't be the Tana of our Mishnah. And the, and the ones that are surrounded by a walled city, they're going to lay on the 14th. That's good. So this can't be the Tana of the Mishnah because we, they, have the open, they have the open cities going back what, a day. Rebbe Oimer, Rebbe says, Oimer Ani, lo yitchu ayaras from Kaimai. Don't take the large city off its spot. It's Friday the, four, Friday the 14th, not Friday the 13th. Friday the 14th, right? That's going to be lane on Friday the 14th. Ela Elu ve Elu, both open cities and walled cities, Kaimai by Bayoim, they lane on the 14th. Good? So Rebbe can be the town of Amishnah who said that. My time the town of Kama that you're going to put the walled cities back to 13th. Guys, the Pasuk says in Esther, to make these, these two days, like, they're, like, like it's written like their times, so it says in the Megillah, the Lushen, what does Bechol Shana Vishana mean? My Chol Shana Vishana, just like every year, the open cities, go on a, a day before, the closed cities, the walled cities, the Mukafim. That's very good. Look, every year we lay on what day? 14. World cities, what day? 15. We always come first. So when they fall out, when Purim falls out on Friday, I'm going to chuck the open city back one day in order to fulfill laning one day before the world cities, which are on Friday, the 14th. So the Friday, the 14th will be the world city, and on the 13th will be the open city. So I'm consistent with the year cycle, even though it's a different day. All right. My, uh, so, <clears throat> The Ema, why don't we say the Khoshana Bishana, Bakoshana Bishana, a nitchem yaras from Como, the 14 never leaves 14. It always lands on the 14th rather than chucking back to the 13th. Afkan, when it's on a Friday, La Yitru Yaras from Como, you shouldn't put it back. Shani Hakad Layapsha. Now what can I do? I have to chuck it back because I need the walls, the open city to lay in a day before the, the walled city. That's the reason of the Tanakama. The Rebbe, who says they lay on the same day, my timer, they lay on the same day. Bechol Shon Vashana, why does he do it with the, with the, the, the Tanakamas Limud of Bechol Shon Vashana? Ma Kol Shon Vashana, Eina Yaris Nidachim Im Komo, just like every Shon Vashana, Ayaris do not leave their place. They land on the 14th. Afkan Lo Yitro Yaris Im Komo, it lands on Friday the 14th. Fred Gemar, Emu Kol Shon Vashana, Ma Kol Shon Vashana, like the Tanakama. Ayaris Mukhaidemis Mukhafim, the 14th comes before the 15th. Afkan, why don't we say the 13th comes before the 14th? Says the Layafsha, it's not possible. It's not possible. In other words, where it's possible, I'll always have the open city lane before it, but where it's not possible, in other words, staying on the 14th takes precedent of what? The, guys, look at me. The question is precedent. What's precedent over here? Making sure the open city lanes before the walled city or keeping the walled city on the 14th. <clears throat> Tanakama says what takes precedent. Going ahead and making the wall city, uh, the open city before the wall city. Says, says Rebbe, no. The Rebbe is. The, it's more important. The wall city to be on the 14th. And when I can't, when I could make it before the 15th, I will. Where I can't do it because it's Friday. And, and the open, open uh, wall city has to be on a Friday. I can't do anything. Okay. That's the first b'risa. And that shows that the town of the mission is Rebbe. Now we're going to have an other b'risa. And this b'risa is going to be very strange, guys. Because we're going to have the wall city learning before the open city. We're going to have the walled city before the open city. And we're going to say, Rabbi Yossi is the Tana of the Mishnah. Says the Gemara, Rabbi Yossi, <clears throat> my Rabbi Yossi, medium wide line, my Rabbi Yossi, the Tanya. Chal the Yossi, Be'er Shabbos, if Purim falls out on, on Friday, Mukafim Ukfarim, Maktim in the Guys, you hear this? The walled city is going to go to 13. The walled city is going back to 13 with the boondocks. Obviously, right, this, this Tana can't be the Tana of our Mishnah, right? <laughs> And Yahweh's Gedal is coming by Biyoyim. And the open city lands on the 14th. If you see, I'm a ain't quite, ain't mukaf from coming to Yahweh's. You can never have a walled city come before a closed city. 14, 15, you can't have a 13, 14, and the 13 being the walled city. No can do. Ella, what do you have to say? Elu ve elu coming by Biyoyim. Like our Mishnah on Friday, both the open cities and the walled cities lane, and the boondocks go to Thursday. My time in Tanakama that you're going to put the walled city on the 13th. The Chsiv, the Cholshana Vishana, again, and the different Liman. My Cholshana Vishana, Iyores Barba Asa, Uzmana Shalze, Loisman Shalze, Afkan Iyores Barba Asa, Uzmana Shalze, Loisman Shalze. Okay, guys, we had a, a Liman on, on the first half 
that what bismanayhem that that there are times bismanom there are times that this man of one is like this man of the other. Meaning, you can't say the following: I'm a 14 guy, he's a 15 guy. So one year I'll keep 14, one year I'll keep 15. Why does it make a difference? You know, since they're two Purims, I'll keep one. The answer is no. You're a 14 guy, you're a 14 guy, you're a 15 guy, you're a 15 guy. Okay? That's the given. But that's the given. Now, the the you can never have. You can never have them, therefore, on the same day. If they both be the 14th, then you're making the 15 into a 14. So what will I do? I'll give it its own day. I'll put it back to the 13th. And I'll keep the 14 on the 14th. Since, guys, since the 15 is leaving its normal place anyway, because you can't later on Shabbos, once I'm moving it, move back to the 13 and keep the 14 as I keep the 14 where, where it's always, always is, where it's supposed to be. Let's look at the Lush and the Gemara. So, <clears throat> my time at Hanukkah, the Chsiv, the Chol Shon of Ishana, my Chol Shon of Ishana, Yoris Arbo Asov is Manashal Zela, is Manashal Zer. The 14 is always on the 14, and the, na- the, not, the days are not what the same. Afkana, Yoris Arbo Asov, who's Manashal Zela, is Manashal Zer. And I just told you the Svar, right? Once you're taking, guys, you're taking 15 off, according to everybody. It's either going to be the 14 or the 13. So once you're taking it off, go ahead and make sure that the Zman of the 14th is different than the Zman of the of the of the it's very interesting spot. Furthermore, you never have the walled cities going before the closed cities. It's always 14, 15. Not, not, once you're moving, it's not, not no possibility. You can't go ahead and you're right. Where I have my druthers. Then of course I'll put the fifteen after the, the walled city afterwards. Where I don't have my choice, I'll put it what I'll put it even before. My time with Rabbi Yossi, guy Rabbi Yossi says like we do uh, the fourteen and fifteen go on on Friday. My time with Rabbi Yossi, bechol shana b'shana, mal kol shana b'shana, emu kafim kaidim la'yaros, afkan emu kafim kaidim la'yaros. It'll never come first, and therefore it has to. Even though we're moving it off the fifteen, we're not going to move it to the thirteenth. We're going to keep it on the fourteenth. Now I fed more of Emir Chol Shon Veshana, Mat Chol Shon Veshana, Zman Shazel Eish Man Shazel. What about the Svara of the Tanakama? Afkan Zman Shazel Eish Man Shazel. Guys, the same Svara. Why don't we say that what that you what you can't move it? In other words, and it has to be different days. Once you're moving, it has to be a different day. So the Chol Yach is no Yachsa. Right? It's not. It's not possible. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll stop over here. I guess I I want to get to the Mishnah, but I think it's been long enough. I I sense a sense of I'm losing interest. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.